All right, so in this video, I have four pairs of sneakers, one for the entire family. So stoked about this. Thank you so much to Hibbit. Uh, City Gear, if you guys have not followed Hibbit before, you got to check them out in the description of the video. Uh, they have a really nice website. Release calendar is really, really nice as well, and they have an app also. But they sent over four pairs, one for the little girl, Maddie, right here. And uh, just to give you a preview of what we're working with right here, check these little things out, dude. Talk about the perfect Air Max for the springtime. And this is the Air Max 90 Air Sprung is the name uh, on the shoes. So we have a little Maddie pair. We have a bigger pair for Harrison right here. And it's crazy. So Maddie's a 10. Harrison's already a 2, man. He's, a, he's 6 years old and he's a size 2. It's ridiculous. He's going to be past mom's size before we know it. Then mama size right here, we got a size five and a half. That's five and a half Y, so that's a seven women's. And then my pair right here in a nine and a half men's. But this is a Nike Air Max 90, my favorite Nike Air Max model to date, honestly, ever. As you can see, I have a whole row of Nike Air Max 90s over on the side in pretty much every color. But this one is kind of cool because it is the uh, Air Sprung colorway, and it literally says Air Sprung right here where it normally says Air Max. Really cool theme, really cool color blocking. It's actually really fun to have matching sneakers for the entire family. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in the video on these guys right here. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Also hit that notification bell to be notified when my videos are posted live. This pair of sneakers is really crazy though. So it's obviously very, very vibrant, very colorful. Lots of different colors on here. From what the box says, it's Phantom, Celery, and Iron Gray. Those are the highlighted colors that they went with here. But there's obviously a couple different things going on here. For the eyelets that are usually rubberized, it's actually kind of a cloth material. And it is blue and then like a fireberry pink on the top section. And then the stitching around the tongue is actually done in that same fireberry. And then on the outsole, you actually have a regrinded fireberry, at least on the men's pair. But this is where it differs a little bit from the men's to the littler pairs is the other pairs actually don't have that regrind, only the, the men's do. I might be mistaken, but it feels like this is a 100% vegan pair of sneakers, meaning there's no leather on the upper. It pretty much feels like synthetics all the way around. The only thing that looks like it might be leather is actually the, the Nike swoosh right here, but I'm not 100% sure. Any which way, color blocking is really dope, though. I like that the two tones of gray for the mud wall right here. It's kind of done in like a textured canvas material. And then you do have canvas across the toe box uh, on the men's pair. For the GS pairs and smaller, you actually have like a textured canvas uh, in that cream color, but this one it's smoother. So interesting that they changed it up. I actually prefer the look and, and feel of the GS pairs in under, but obviously it's still nice. Then color wise around the aerosol unit back here, it is kind of like a mint green or an aqua blue sort of color back here. As you can see, it kind of resembles this colorway right here. It's a little bit darker than this colorway, but that same color also follows its way into the liner of the shoe and on the insole. That second tone of gray is another cut and sew layer up through the side of the shoe as well as underneath the tongue. And then you also have gray for the tongue right here, which is kind of like a canvas as well. It is mesh on the other side. And then to round out the colors, you do have kind of a mustard greenish yellow on the toe cap here that is also regrinded and then also uh, the swooshes right here. On the other pairs though, it's not regrinded rubber as I already mentioned. You also do have yellow on the bubble of the shoe. It says air sprung right back here and then on the back tab, it is that same blue. But this is where it gets pretty cool. They actually have a Caterpillar Nike swoosh on the heel of the shoe. And I thought at first it was a patch, kind of hangs off a little bit. It looks like a patch, but it's actually not removable. But it looks really cool, I really like that. It obviously adds to that air sprung sort of vibe. And then on the insole of one of the shoes, you do get a butterfly. On the other one, you do get the pinwheel of Nike swooshes. It's a really fun detail and my daughter really likes, obviously the butterfly and the caterpillar. We actually saw the, the hungry caterpillar like in a play. Like it was actually pretty fun. We went to Portland and got to watch it like a live play of it. Another one of my favorite details is the difference on the tongue. So this one actually just says Nike and then swoosh. It doesn't say Nike Air underneath it or anything. The other part that is awesome though is on the reverse side of the tongue, it says swoosh, 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 S-W-O-O-O-O-O-O-O. SH a bunch of times all over the place and then at the bottom it says just do it I don't know why but I think that's a really cool detail It's like one of those details that they added into the shoe just to liven it up and I don't know It's just fun and obviously it's one of those themes that the kids are gonna look at and go these are really cool But obviously even for myself I'm like that's a really fun detail So the color blocking on this I think is done really really well It reminds me kind of almost of Easter that springtime vibes uh, but also not Easter at the same time. So it's not something that you can just wear during Easter time. It is something obviously uh, for the spring. But it is a fun, lively pair of sneakers and one that the entire family can enjoy. So if you guys are interested in buying a pair of these, check the link in the description. It'll take you over to Hibbit. 
city gear and you guys can uh, try to buy them over there. Anyways, where does the Air Max 90 rank in your guys' uh, listing of Air Max sneakers? For me, it's number one. I like the Air Max 90 over the Air Max 1, over the Air Max 95, the 97s. Uh, even more modern Air Maxes I really like, but honestly the Air Max 90 is just the one that brings it back to home. It's just the one that I really, really love. I wanted to let you guys know there's a couple differences between the littler shoes and the bigger ones. And I think the littler ones actually detail some of the accents a lot better than the grown up pairs. One of the things is the air sprung on the inside here. And it's actually printed on in black and it actually says air sprung. So it sticks out a lot better on the smaller pairs. The other thing is the Nike swoosh on the back with that Caterpillar. It's actually fused on back here also. And it looks a lot better than the men's and the GS pair because it, you can actually see the Caterpillar 8 part of the Nike swoosh. I think that's a really cool detail that was kind of missing in the embroidered pair, but uh, very, very cool that you could see it here. The other detail is the outsole is actually different. They went with the all gray tread on this one. They have a little bit more gaps in between here with gray and then the cream underneath it and then on this one you can see it's just cream all underneath uh, the littlest pair so a little bit more exposed there and a little bit softer than the rubber tread on some of the other pairs the last difference that I would call out between the men's and all of the others is the stitching around the tongue it's like more of a baseball knit stitch around the men's versus the smaller pairs that have like a much tighter threading around it but it does kind of leave it a little bit raw edge still even with that thread so I kind of like the look of that anyways thank you guys for stopping by and watching hope you guys enjoyed the look at the air sprungs I think these things are great man it's just fun to see some nice inline products that Nike is creating that doesn't have to have a heavy collaboration or anything but it's light it's playful it's kind of themed properly and it's releasing properly in the right season as well. Um, so that's a good thing. So that's always a plus. So again, if you guys are interested in checking out a pair, check out Hibbit City Gear in the description and I appreciate y'all for sending these over to me, Hibbit. Uh, you guys rock. One of the longtime sponsors on the channel and I absolutely love working with those guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy the content. And if you guys do, please drop a like on the video. It lets them know that you guys uh, appreciate the content as well. Check back soon for more videos and hopefully I'll see you guys back on the channel. Peace guys.